Ms. Ray, it's a great honor to have you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. And I would like to start by thanking you for your service to our country. We're greatly indebted to you. Well, Thank you. What, one of the things I'd like to mention is that some of the ships I worked on are still in the fleet. I'm still fighting for my country. <laughs> Now, what made you want to become an engineer? Okay, when I was seven years old, this is World War II, the United States captured a German mini submarine, a miniature submarine, a one-man sub, off of the coast of the Carolinas, and they brought it to downtown Little Rock, Arkansas, where I lived. And my grandfather took me down to see it. He had other grandchildren, but he only took me. They let me go up the little ladder and down the hatch, and I looked at all the dials and the mechanisms and looked through the periscope, and I said, wow, what do you have to know to do this? Well, the guy giving the spiel said, you'd have to be an engineer, but you don't ever have to worry about that. Well, I didn't realize I'd been insulted. <laughs> so I went home and I told my mother, what he said, and she said, Ray, you'll have three strikes against you. You're female, you're black, at that time the terminology was Negro, and you have a Southern segregated school education. But you can be or do anything you want to be. So <laughs> provided that you're educated and you must work hard. And I want you to know there's no such thing as women's work or men's work. But if you're educated, you can run circles around people. 